first of all, uh, happy Basant Panchmi to all. Uh, I have seen so much confusion among the students while choosing the stream. We have faced so many problems. Student in the midterm coming to us that I don't want this subject. I don't want this subject. Earlier it was selected by my parents. Now it's my choice. I want to enter into that that subject or a stream. Lot lots of exactly confusion were there only. We have faced this one. So uh, making uh, just wait. So we will help you here to choose the right stream and what are the scope of this stream that will discuss you. So this is a very first step. Uh, during 10th standard, we are not clear. 80% students do not clear in which stream they want to go and what the career option they must choose. So keeping in view, we have organized this counseling session. Now, see here, uh, students studying in grade 10 uh, do not have idea in which field that student should go. So keeping view this confusion, uh, what are the perception that we see while we are choosing a stream? Now for sciences, if you look into the sciences, what we think, okay, that for adopting science, we need a high level of intelligence. But I would like to say a student who, go, who get 90% or 95%, they do not have any difference. Only 5% may be the writing skill, maybe the presentation skill are good, those they get 95%. Even I can say 85, 80%, 90%, this does not show the intelligence level. This shows that that much marks you have scored. Now, while adopting this science stream, someone can think that it's a highly prestigious uh, stream. If you go to the science stream, we will become doctor, engineer, astronaut, so many things. And there is another perception where we saw that uh, science subjects are so scoring subject. Plenty of job opportunities are there after you're doing uh, plus two with the science stream, whether it's a medical or a non-medical. And some somehow you can hear that is the evergreen, evergreen field. After passing plus two, you can go to the commerce stream, you can go to the art stream. When we are adopting science stream, why should we go? We should keep the same pace in the science stream. Now, for commerce, we think, oh, yes, it's a safe option. A uh, little less hard work is required. Uh, it's my family trend. Uh, we uh, belongs to the business families. So if I do uh, plus two with commerce or further, we do some courses in the commerce team, definitely it will help for business and there is a less competition. For humanities, we have perception. Okay, we want to go for a civil service. We want to crack UPSC. So it's a very less hard work is required in humanities. So more, moreover, I can spare my time to prepare for UPSC exam. Or somehow someone thinks, okay, let us take one degree so as we can further go ahead. Now, this is not the factor only. There are other factors where we decide which team we have to adopt. This is my parents' aspirations. My father, mother is a doctor they want to see me as a doctor. Okay, this is a big question. That's why uh, my parents are doctors. I will become a doctor. Okay, somehow we see, okay, I want to go to the construction side because uh, my father is a, a constructor. He earns a lot of money. That's why I want to join that field. No, this, this should not be there. Okay, I have seen, I've heard the student, okay, my friend is in science team, I will go to the science team. If he is able to do, I will do. So this is another perception. Actually, why this perception come into a way? Because we do not have complete knowledge of that field. The information we have, that is little accurate. Now the fact is, earlier I told you, the student who get 85% or 95%, there is no difference at all. The difference may be how the 95% student uh, shows his talent, his writing skill may be better than you. He may have two, thrice, four times the reason of the subject. That's why he's capable to take little lead against you. Okay. So whenever you are passing your 10th exam, you are equally eligible for all the streams. Keep in mind. But you have to see your interests also. Uh, Sometimes we heard that uh, lot of uh, 
career options are there in sciences but you will come to know after this orientation that more than sciences we have another enormous opportunities in commerce and humanities okay humanities subject are good scoring subject as like as commerce and sciences okay next is a uh, don't select a stream which has more career option rather choose the one which matches your potential and capability and will make you happy someone is good in art is not good in sciences uh, mathematics or other subject but is good in painting you may see there are so many uh, uh, painters in the world who they are earning a good money from this profession because it's it's your liking to go ahead with your liking now how to make the decision there is a three step process one is assess yourself in which field you are good you are good in sports come for physical education you are good in mathematics take your mathematics subject as additional or optional explore the career options what are the career option in your interest you are a guitarist you, you you are a good sportsman you are a good chess player then go ahead go adopt that field along with the career you opt moreover it's a very important to take guidance from your teachers from your family members so the person who is in uh, private sector public sector is in good position so for that what we have to do we have to assess ourselves uh, we have to introspection uh, see your strength you are good in physics okay you are most welcome come and join sciences whether it's a medical or non medical see your interest in liking what is your personal attribute you are good good in managing the things uh, you show love towards other affectionate caring then your hospitality sector hospitality sector will welcome you this is your potential these are your liking you can manage the whole class okay you are good in politics you are good in administrative come crack upsc and become a civil servant another last tool is aptitude uh, aptitude test this aptitude test will conduct later on uh, if you are not able to decide in which stream you want to go next step would be this aptitude test they only will be helping you a lot so that you have to decide whether you want to go for stress free study or with stress so that depend upon your choice of stream in grade 11 okay how to explore the career options now next question is uh we have the whole world in our pocket now we have google we have so many platform social media platform where you can come to know about the different uh, job opportunity opportunities now uh, earlier it was great time that everyone want to do civil engineering everyone out of 800 70% adopt civil engineering at that time Uh, there was no job at all because so many civil engineer were there after that what happened every college stop civil engineering course now once again a big gap come into the because this uh, private sector uh, construction industry grown up rapidly now they need more civil engineers now so you have to do that study in the market ki for next 30 to 40 years what type of profession will be on the top and that must fit into your likings okay if someone uh, just come in your house as a guest he is a doctor he is an engineer or he is another professional try to talk to that uh, guest about that profession okay, what are the pros and cons to adopt this profession you are not good in speaking you don't like to speak so you, you you are not supposed to join the hospitality sector where you have to be more polite you have show love affectionate to the others so um my question is choose your stream subject according to your liking don't run for here and there okay my friend is in that stream i will go i will choose that stream now for that you need some guidance uh, for second step teachers are with you always we will be guiding you uh, at the uh, end of the session you will be putting some questions uh, we will be answering uh okay okay now finally uh, be passionate interesting and successful for that 
what are the different career options i will go for the sciences only that is medical and non medical the rest of uh, uh, for commerce baljeet ma'am will take charge and for humanities seema ma'am will take the charge so humanities and commerce i am not going to explain career option in the sciences with math you are taking math uh, after plus 2 you can join defense service army navy air force you go for btech be btech uh, around what more than 40 different courses are there in engineering 40 more than 40 then you go for architecture is a five year uh, degree program you can join aviation sector statics computer application and ethical hacking this is very interesting yesterday uh, i was reading a newspaper there i heard that google has uh, introduced one competition to find out the bug in uh, google chrome so one of the student from from bihar uh, he has i think uh, searched some bugs in the software so uh, google has appointed as a team member because ethical hacking is that you are making uh, secure for a particular application then you can join merchant navy bsc there are different courses later on i will be explaining more about this with biology you can go for mbbs first choice for plus 2 pass out is mbbs there are so another fields which are good enough to join uh, you can go for dentistry ayurveda homeopathy microbiology is uh, as a demanding subject biochemistry then allied uh fields like as uh, nutrition pharmacology biotechnology and horticulture uh agriculture sciences now uh, what happened punjab has a traditional farming you might have some seen some videos from uh, other countries where uh, how do they do the agriculture practice they have modern technology so uh, shortly uh, whole india i can say whole world has to change its uh, traditional farming into the new type of farming so for that uh, lots lots of uh, agricultural uh, uh, persons were will be required then for environmental sciences we have genetics that is a very uh, interesting subject neurosciences forensic sciences uh, if you see any crime there only there is a forensic team uh, so the part of the forensic team is to, to solve the case 90% they will solve the case they will find out the proofs and will present to the court so it's a very interesting to find out if someone has some nature to searching the things okay there are so many other sides so don't aim for success just do what you love doing and what you believe in success will come naturally to you so these are the famous quotation now come to this topic now now we have in sciences we have three choices one is pcm physics chemistry mathematics another is pcb physics chemistry biology another one in addition to if you take a mathematics that is a pcmb now after grade 12 uh, you have taken one additional subject mathematics you are eligible for medical as well as for other engineering services other engineering courses so if you take uh, physics chemistry math Uh, sorry physics chemistry biology along with math so in addition to jo pcb mein aapke paas option hai uske addition mein i am talking about one is bsc in dairy technology bachelor in pharmacy all courses have master degrees plus research work and every field here you can see a teacher is required at the end one teacher is required to run the course so teaching profession always present with all the courses now this bachelor of pharmacy is a three year course after that you go for uh, m pharma we usually call it as a b pharma a d pharma b pharma and m pharma d for diploma in pharmacy for two year m pharma is four year course theek uh, hai and uh, sorry b b pharma is four year course m pharma is a two year course masters degree then bsc biotechnology bsc agriculture bsc microbiology you can adopt any field in sciences after you take physics chemistry math and biology uh, generally we call it as a uh, super medical if you go for pcb physics chemistry biology all medical field is open for you 
you can go for bms then after you can do md then bhms then bvsc veterinary sciences you might have seen so many countries every family has a pet now if every family has a pet so definitely the the health issues of pet will be there who will take care this is the veterinary doctor will take care so this trend will be more in future time because uh, we are in a nuclear family we need some something to play so just bring a doggy or a cat or any other pet to to take care the medical issues of that pet we need lots lots of doctor which belongs to veterinary sciences so we have mvvsc phd mvvsc master in veterinary sciences further post graduate course and phd doctorate is available in all the courses then you go for mbbs there only after that mbbs it's a four and a half year course you go for md that is two year uh, sorry three year and ms is three year you will become master of surgery and master of medicine or doctorate there are so many paramedical courses are there nursing is there bsc nursing msc nursing then bmlt which belongs to the lab technician then you go for botany geology home science so you have so many other options are there only with the pcm physics chemistry and mathematics uh, earlier i told you that after uh, taking mathematics in plus 2 you are eligible for uh, navy army air force there is a direct entry you have to go through a physical test as well as the entrance exam then b architect this is five year uh, a degree course where this architect always you plan to build a pool a fly over a house you need a you need architecture so architect is used to design all the construction then bachelor of bachelor of planning and designing this is another course you go for a, a technical entry in indian army then you do be be we have so many course along with be or btech if you adopt for mba there is a good combination then you can crack, crack after bachelor of planning and design sorry after be you can crack indian engineering services exam where you, where you can join uh, railway and the public sector you can do merchant navy then after that you become marine engineer when you do mechanical engineering a master in mechanical engineer you, ma, uh, already i am telling that every field need a teacher finally if you go for a phd or doctorate you will be a professor in a, a reputed university you can see there are a lot of doctor engineer in usa belongs to the indian origin okay so in defense you can go for direct entry in air force as well in infantry you, uh, you take a four year civil degree uh, certificate you, be, you can become a contractor in the government sector either everyone cannot be a contractor they need one degree if you want a good contracts so if you want to join computer side after plus 2 then there is a course bsc bca bachelor in computer application bsc physics all iits run uh, diploma courses that is bsc 3 year physics course okay then after you can join mca after bca bca is bachelor degree mca master in computer application then you go you can go master in computer science mcm mba so mba after degree mba uh, for engineering student mba is a good combination uh, you can also join film television diplomas there are so many courses some are good in acting uh, they are saying why we should adopt the science and math after that plus 2 you can join these diplomas also only okay. so for fulfilling your aim what we provide in cambridge international school Uh, for sciences pcm physics uh, biology physics chemistry english and optional optional subject later on i will tell you for pcm it is mathematics physics chemistry english and optional subject for sciences we are giving these optional subject because some somehow someone uh, want to take uh, mathematics as an additional subject to want to do super medical so we also provide this mathematics to the science student computer science is there dance music painting physical out out of these courses out of first five you have to take one in case of you want to take uh, do uh, uh, super medical additional mathematics will provide you and uh, every year 
five to six student, uh, I can say they are in super medical. These are the skill subject of keeping in pace of national education policy, which is uh, totally uh, based on the skill of the students. Okay, what skill a student must have after passing 10th or after passing 12th? So keeping in view of this national education policy, we provide web application. Later on, uh, Meenu Nanda ma'am will tell you about this web application. Then financial marketing management, uh, Baljeet ma'am will take care about this. She will explain more about this. Then food and nutrition dietics. Uh, you might have heard that, uh, okay, uh, nowadays I am uh, diet pe hon. Yeah, you're taking some special diet. So eating healthy things and weight loss is also one technique. So this goes to the food, nutrition and dietics. Then home science shortly, uh, we are introducing, we are working on it. Uh, definitely this is also one of the good skill subject that shortly we will introduce. So I hope that uh, I am able to make clear some doubts. Uh, at the last, we will take the doubt session in case of if it will be required another session of this counseling, uh, uh, you are most welcome. Just kindly let me know about that. Okay. Now, with these words, I say thank you for joining this. Once again, happy Basant Panchmi. Now over to Baljeet ma'am. Ma'am, kindly take over. Uh, Baljeet ma'am, kindly take over. Uh, Baljit, ma'am. Yes. yes, sir. I was on mute, so I requested Saha, sir. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Principal, ma'am, Rupinder, ma'am, Dinesh, sir, everybody here, my colleagues, and all my students. Wish you a very happy Pasant Panchmi. Now we are going to explore more about Commerce Stream. The students who have interest, who are keen to know about figures, accountancy, or they want to uh, enjoy their future in numbers financial, stock exchange, and all those can surely come to this stream. Let's see what's commerce. Commerce as a stream of education can be defined as a study of trade and business. Those students who are very much eager to know how to trade, how to transact, how to invest, what is insurance and all, can definitely explore so many fields in commerce. See, you can uh, have idea. Media is always open there. Event management is a new trend. Financial manager, CA, CS, all those streams you have heard of. Hotel management is open for you. There are foreign languages, BBA, MBA. We'll explore all them in detail in the upcoming slides. Let's, uh, let's first start with MBA. MBA is Masters in Business Administration. There are some institutions which give you admission without any entrance exam also, but there are specific institutes like IIM. IIM is Indian Institute of Management, which have entrance test CAT, after that you clear it and then you enter into such prestigious institutions. Even foreign students come and try admission in IIM. I am Ahmedabad, I am Mumbai, I am Kolkata, I am Pune, all those are famous all over the world. Now what they specialize in, they have given different streams. You can explore any. When you enter into commerce, you have some interest in running business, whether it be some, somebody else's business, whether it's your business, or, the, or you want to start a startup, you want to expand your family business, there are so many areas. But wherever you go, you see managers are there, whether it be hospital, whether it be school, whether it be religious institution, political institutions, we need managers. So MBA gives you training for that. When we come to finance, there are new fields like CFO. CFO is Chief Financial Officer. One person who guides you in business, where you need to invest, where you need to raise funds from. Then we have HR manager. What does HR manager do? He tells you what kind of human resource you need at the workplace, from where you can get it, how you're going to train them, what is the selection criteria. There will be different tests to select those candidates, right? Then we come to rural management. This is related to if you want to get into politics, fine. If you want to frame policies for rural areas, like 
um, schemes, policies that we have in planning commission also. So that will help you if you have degree in rural management, MBA in rural management, you can easily get those jobs. Supply chain is related to logistics. Whenever we talk about manufacturing businesses, right? Production houses, they have their logistics, they have their supply chain who take care about uh, demand and supply. What is demanded in the market and how you're going to supply it. Transport and all those areas are taken care of. Then we come to entrepreneurship. There are so many new businesses coming up. Youngsters like you, we have seen such cases where young kids of 14, 15 years or 18 years, they have started their own businesses or they can join. I'll come to this point later also. Then we have agribusiness management specialization and this is related to agriculture. If you are from um, farming background, but you want to add on something unique, some technical upgradation in your uh, farming background, then you can go for this degree and you can help out your um, productions to be increased and how you're going to market that this is connected to marketing of your agricultural produce. Healthcare. See, when we talk about healthcare, it's known not only about medical background students, it's about non-medical professionals also nowadays because there are lots of jobs and careers opportunities in this field also. And during the pandemic, it was needed. Hospitals found it difficult to manage different things, their resources, whatever they were having, or whether it be casualties, so many patients coming together, how to handle them. So your healthcare management specialization helps you you join clinics, you join uh, professionals, you join doctors, hospitals, there they will be needing these managers. Those, what these people do, managers in healthcare, they streamline, they organize and smooth functioning of hospitals are taken care of. When we talk about business analytics, suppose I'm a business analytic, what I'll do, I'll interpret all the data with me and I'll help the owners, business people to take accurate decisions. Because nowadays, a business environment is data-driven. Every day, there is so much change in the data available, when it, whether it be stock exchange, whether it be tech structures, or the government policies at international level also. So you need to take care of those two. International business, as I told you, if you have interest in developing your business and taking your family business to international level, you should definitely go for MBA in international business. Because this will tell you, what are the export and import policies? What are the custom duties? What kind of procedures you need to follow? There is import procedure, export procedure. When you come to grade 11th commerce, you'll be studying these chapters. If you want to expand your business to international level, you want to uh, uh, start a new branch in foreign country, you can definitely go to that level once you do MBA in this field. Then we come to marketing. Whatever be the product, you definitely need to market it. How will the customer get to know? Whether it be through social media, whether it be some website, or you want to sell your product through Amazon, Mintra, or any other platform, you need marketing. Your marketing team will help you. So students, those have interest in these fields should go for MBA. Coming to the next now. We already discussed family businesses or startups. I'll quickly take it to startups. If we talk about Byju's, Paytm, Nika, Oyo Rooms, Dream 11, 11, these are the new startups. And they started earning in billions. Within five, six years, they have reached to that level. These were just startups. They did not have their family history to support their business. They did not have any goodwill for backing. They started with their own entrepreneurship skills because they belong to commerce background. They had interest in exploring the business. New ideas, innovations were introduced. Now, when we come to this field, actuarial science, those are good in maths. Those are good in stats and probability should definitely go for it. It's in demand. It's very much in demand nowadays because when we talk about insurance, we talk about risk management, we talk about tech structure, this is needed. When you want to play with numbers, financial instruments, you should definitely explore this field. Then come financial fields. In finance, we have so many areas to explore, whether it be asset management, assets are things we have, whether we building, we plant and machinery, land, vehicles, in business, whatever assets you have, how to manage them. What assets you need presently, 
what you want to postpone for future time period, bet management is done by this expert. Commercial banking, if you want to start your own bank, private bank, or you want to join some nationalized bank, you should go for this. Equity research, this is purely about equity shares. You must have heard of share capital, but you don't know much about it. Once you enter into the field of commerce, you'll explore about it. Corporate finances, corporates are the companies, whether it be multinational company, local company, we need finance to run the business. So this person handles that. Risk management is about insurance. Whether it be my business or be my life or my house, I want to insure these things. So risk management helps me. What kind of risk is that? How can I handle that? Investment banking, I have some extra money, but I don't know where to invest. This tells me about what are the investment schemes, what is the cost, what are the returns. I'll invest in one particular scheme once I get promise or assurance that I'll be getting better returns. Fine, then I'll invest in that field. And if you um, know more about it, you can guide your family, you can guide your relatives, your parents also, that I know about this financial scheme. We should invest in this particular instrument. To explore further your financial interest, Cambridge School has introduced financial markets management as a skill subject. When we talk about FMM, FMM is a subject introduced by CBAC, but not all the schools have taken up. In Jalanda, only two schools are there who, introduce, who have introduced this. We have now this third batch of FMM, where we teach them about theoretical aspect and also one software. NSC is National Stock Exchange. With the collaboration of CBSE and NSC, at the end of grade 12, you'll be getting a certificate. And this certificate will give you this job role. You can become an equity dealer, mutual fund advisor, financial advisor, where you can join the company and advise people where to invest. We are talking about stock exchanges, right? Whether it be Bombay Stock Exchange, National Stock Exchange, or at international level. When you go abroad also, as a student, when you join um, some foreign universities, you'll explore these kind of courses. You can join stock exchanges there once you know basics about it that you can explore at this level. Then we know about CA, that is Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. Once you give the entrance test after 12th, you can definitely get into CA. This is very flourishing field. If you enter into, you can join some company because CAs are needed by most of the companies then you can start your own professional setup also. You can give professional services. Next is CS. CS is company secretary. Company secretary tells you about what all rules and regulations you need to follow. Every business person is not legally very sound. He does not know all the rules and regulations and laws abide by companies act. So they appoint CS. CS is company secretary that comes under the administration of Institute of Company Secretaries of India. They'll guide you, if you follow this law, you can start this way. If you want to introduce your share capital, you need to follow these laws and what do's and don'ts companies need to follow. Next, we need to explore about hotel management also. Once you join Commerce Stream, if you're not very much comfortable with accounts, because accounts is a technical subject, if you're very, not very much comfortable with um, financial concepts, numbers, you're good at theory. You're good in business studies. You're good in economics. You can definitely go for hotel management. Hotel management will help you to set your career in some five-star and seven-star hotels also. From the basics, they'll explore different things. What are you good at? You're good at cooking. You're good at managing. You're uh, good at hospitality. All these areas you'll explore under hotel management. Now, when you join commerce, there are four core subjects you need to follow. English, definitely common for all the streams, fine. Accountancy, then we have economics and business studies. These are four core subjects. Along with these, you can take two more. That is, you need to choose from optional. We have so many optional subjects available in our school. Not all the schools offer this because we, are, we have been to so many schools for duties and we have observed this thing, not all the schools offer these variations. They offer two, three subjects and they ask the students, you need to select from these only. So that's a privilege if you study in Cambridge, you should definitely grab the opportunity, whatever your interest area is, you can choose accordingly. 
Music is there, dance, physical education, painting, computer science, home science, as sir already said, it's upcoming. It's in the pipeline. Then we have standard maths and applied maths. Fine. Along with these common subjects, we have these skill subjects also. FMM, I already told you, that is related to stock market. And you'll get certificate for it. Food, nutrition, and dietetics. If you go uh, explore in these areas, you want to be, become a food officer, you want to start your dietitian clinic, you can explore from this. You will be getting certificates for this. So you'll be authorized, authenticated to start up. Web application, Minu Ma'am will tell you in detail. We have typography and computer application. This is also a new subject in our school, not very common in other schools. So I wish you all the best in choosing the right stream. Please follow your dreams. Whatever your passion is, follow that way. Do not come into the pressure of peer. Do not come into the pressure of what your relatives, your siblings, your cousins are doing, or what forcefully your parents or your relatives are telling you. You explore, as I already said, assess yourself. What are your calibers, your interests, your passion? Okay? It's okay if your friends are joining science and arts. All the streams are very good. They're flourishing. But if you have some interest in business studies, economics, you want to explore more about accountancy, get into commerce. Hope to see you there in commerce stream. Thank you so much, everybody. Over to you, ma'am. Seema ma'am will be telling more about humanities now. So ma'am is trying to, but she's, I think, mute. Good morning, everyone. All of us have asked for the blessings from Goddess Saraswati for success and wisdom. When we talk about, when we talk about success, it always depends on our choices. So when we talk about humanities, there are many reasons why to choose humanities. Uh, Saha sir, will you be please uh, let me share my screen? Bajit ma'am, uh, if, ma ma uh, ma ma if you can stop sharing your screen. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. So I was talking about that if we want to have success, we should be, you know, having the right choices and why humanities why to choose humanities? There is a lot of scope in humanities. First of all, when we are talking about humanities, what is the meaning of humanities? It deals with the study of human condition, utilizing methodologies that are usually analytical, critical, or speculative. The wide range of subjects that come under the umbrella term of humanities range from history, languages, geography, philosophy, performing arts, political science, psychology, economics, and many more. This stream has a wide variety of courses, which can offer exciting opportunities for the student and pave the way for choosing some gripping careers. In Cambridge, we have five core subjects in humanities. These are history, geography, political science, psychology, and economics. And other optional subjects are Punjabi, computer science, fine arts, physical education, dance, music, home science. And one has to opt for four subjects in addition to English. Rest of the skill subject has been, you know, uh, described by Baljeet Ma'am very well. Now, if we talk about, if we are, you know, uh, in the search of best, best career options in humanities, the best career options in humanities are, if I talk about, variety of creative courses are awaiting for you. Bachelor degrees courses are available in the fields of advertising, media studies, performing arts, hotel management. These courses have heavy demand and are extremely beneficial for the students who are willing to pursue their interests. Enthusiastic students can take up courses in fashion technology, jewelry designing, aviation, they can become radio jockey, and civil services examination is the best choice. Everybody will salute you if you go for that. And if you have good content writing, if you have you know, command over your languages, then content writer you can go for. 
Let's discuss about few of the degree programs with the duration three to five years. First of all, BBA, as it has been described in commerce also. So there is a uh, myth that only commerce students can do BBA. Not like that. If you have, you know, resource management skills, if you want to manage the business, if you want to have skills for managing the money, that Bachelor of Business Administration will be the best option for you. Same as you know, BBM, Bachelor of Business Management, it depends on your interest. If you, if you really want to manage the business, your family business or otherwise, so this would be a good choice. If I talk about books, if you love to read books, if you love to arrange them, if you love to, uh, you know, uh, manage them, design them, Bachelor of Libraries will be a good choice for you. And next is Bachelor of Social Work. Many of you want to work for society. Many of you want to work for upliftment of, you know, weak section of the society. Many of you want to contribute in society in one or the other ways. So Bachelor of Social Work is available, the best course I would say. Then BJMC, Bachelor of Journalism and Mass Communication. Many of us are good anchor. Many of you want to, you know, be a news reader why many of you want to uh, do journalism come on tv want to come on tv so bgmc bachelor of journalism and mass communication is a best choice then it comes bachelor of fine arts bachelor of law many of our previous students are pursuing for law this is the you know uh, the profession this profession is great demand these days then bba llb this is the integrated courses this is the integrated course for uh, law. Next comes to BCA, computer and programming, coding, gaming, software. You all are aware about computer and technologies. So this can be your interest. BEM, Bachelor in Event Management. You are good at managing the events. Suppose marriages, birthday parties, wedding ceremonies. If you want to manage these you know, events, if you are good at that skill, so that would be a good choice for you as a profession. Bachelor of Fashion Designing, BFD, then BTTM. Many of us want to travel. We like to travel. That is our hobby. We want to explore the world. We want to explore the geography of the world and of our country also, right? So we can make our hobby as a profession also if we go for bachelor in bachelor degree in travel and tourism bdes bachelor of design not only fashion designing you can design jewelry you can design uh, the product you can design the textiles again the ba and ma courses in any of the subjects if you want to go for phd you can go for phd and ba degree of course if you want to go in the teaching sector so BEd would be the best degree. And in if you don't want to go for long terms, if you want to go for short, short programs, diploma programs, so in all the fields, we have diploma programs also, whether we talk about uh, foreign languages, whether we talk about travel and tourism, hotel management, air hostess, flight steward, diploma in interior designing, event management. Again, we have diploma in insurance and LIC. Now, if you want to go for some specific subject, like you are sitting in the class and you share with us that ma'am, this and this is our favorite subject and I want to go with that, whether, it is, whether we talk about graduation level, whether we talk about at post-graduation level. Suppose economics is your, uh, you know, specific subject you want to go for that. So after studying economics at the undergraduate or postgraduate level, you can enter in banking, insurance services, manufacturing firms, real estate, consulting, and government agencies and non-profit organizations. Now students, I would say no society can be prepared for future if we you know, are not, uh, if we are not able to explore our past, we cannot be prepared for the future. If you are the students who, if you are the student who want to explore the archaeological sites, if you want to explore the past, you can enter with history in many of the professions, like you can go for research work, 
you can go for archaeology you if you are you know uh, good at designing you want to design the museum you want to arrange and manage the museum then museology will be the best option for you if you want to preserve the old things whether it is coins whether it is sites or whether it is documentation you can be an, an archivist and if you want to conserve the sources for future generations you must be worried about for yourself also so conservation management you can go for and civil services as i told you that everybody will salute you for that if you go for the civil services and pass it out then public administration you can go for psychology students which are you know which have already opted for this subject they like it very much because it is the scientific study of human mind and behavior when we talk about scope in psychology everywhere now psychologists you know they are needed you know the stress level has you know increased and everywhere some counselors are required whether we talk about hospital whether we talk about school and colleges and universities so you can go for child and development development psychologist sports psychologists health psychologist clinical psychologist and social psychologist geography is the study of earth surface and its relationship between with human beings career opportunities and geography are many like if you are good at map reading if you really like to do maps then cartographer surveyor urban and regional planner gis specialists you know be, without navigation we cannot you know move further so if we are touring and traveling so this you know gis specialists are the best person to you know work for and meteorologists weather forecaster environmental manager as you know there are many you know uh, challenges towards the environment so if you want to manage the environment environmental manager would be the best profession for you and of course teaching and phd you can uh, pursue with next comes to political science if power and politics interest you as i always discuss with you in the class that i want my children my youth should come to the politics to you know clear the garbage so if power and politics interest you and foreign policies intrigue you then political science should be your choice opting for history public administration along with political science is a wise choice as they all complementary to each other and will be beneficial for administrative competitive examination and for law as well you can become political consultant you can become lawyer and of course in civil services also you can go for next comes to home science last but not least it is studied both under science and arts it's an interdisciplinary subject that teaches you about human development when we talk about its scope chef culinary you know every uh, punjabi or most of the punjabis they want to go abroad and this field is you know best for them because the global professionals compete and work at international level with a huge job growth in the hospitality industry restaurant and baking chefs bakery chefs family resource management catering agents tourism industries and food analysts so i would sum up by saying before you make any call i would recommend you to deep research to do deep research and a thorough analysis of your personal interests aptitude and career goals thank you have a good day thank you so much over to you minu ma'am good morning all so i am going to introduce skill subject that is web application web application basic role in future you can become the web developer you can create your own websites so we will learn about it before we go for it let's learn the overview in the today's world it is connected through the web socially and economically web development has become the best paid career choice in the modern world a web developer is a person who is proficient 
in creating websites web development is a process of developing websites the process include coding and programming that empowers website functionality so we cannot say if we learned html and css that is sufficient to go for the web development we have larger scope of it so web development means the creation of websites with this proficiency required for html knowledge that you already have you learned in grade 7 and 8 the basics of html how to create your static websites to make it to the dynamic you have to add more things into it like your image editing softwares like jim photoshop etc you can take the help of it you can create animations via flash maya or vfx effects you have the database connectivity you must have seen nowadays in e-commerce sites or e-shopping sites the data which is provided to you which you are looking as a client or a customer you are able to see all the products there right that information is the front end information which you are watching but back end that are working through the databases so we have the databases like ms ss mysql oracle etc next you have to learn scripting language to make your website to more dynamic that is the client server and the server side javascript asp php these will help you to make it dynamic then you need to learn about programming also that is java python etc which you can add on to it in future you can do graduation and post graduation courses also which are available to you like graduation certificate in internet application and development masters of arts in web design and new media graduation certificate in web system development master of science in management then you have web system and media then masters of science in information system internet application development you can do it in specialization courses if you want to go about you have animation and film making you must have seen nowadays so many uh, 3d movies which you are watching that are all the part of somewhere a combination of film making with your computer effects thank you so much now i would like to call urvishi ma'am for the same she would introduce you about the another skill subject thank you so much ma'am so this is our new subject that is typography and computer application total marks it is 100 marks 60 for theory and 40 for practical now the basic concept of typography is to introduce uh, in case of how to uh, explore in your typography what is the main benefit of typography so to, to give the knowledge of the students with principles of typography to develop the practical knowledge understanding among the students through the qwerty keywords without seeing the key keyboard you can type efficiently with your concept of touch system now to enable the student to enhance the understanding and useful of the usefulness of the information technologies tools to the business we have so many tools in uh, computer applications where we have introduced that tools in the business so that we can easily incorporate that tools in the business area to prepare the students to learn the correspondence different types of letters styles of letters and manuscripts to use in the draft letters we have this concept where we use a shorthand uh, operators where you can use this operator in the field where we can do uh, shorthand minute typings and we can do many more things in that particular area we have business letter concept we introduce how many types of business letter we have in that particular area how we uh, draft that particular business letter how we use that business letters in different uh, businesses next we have uh, to make the students capable for getting employment in the private sectors public sectors ministers courts and so many because you know uh, in this we learn also how to uh, draft the letter how to find the error in that letter we have uh, shorthand operators to to how to use that shortened uh, writing operators so that we can incorporate all these things in ministries and courts things done now the basic concept of this um, 
course is that to speed up, speed up in your e-typing. Fundamentals of computers, we have various PowerPoint tools, various uh, Excel tools, where, uh, various PPT tools we use in general way. But how we introduce these tools in the business, in the office area, so that our work is more easy as compared to our daily routine, how we use daily, uh, how we protect our files with the uh, unauthorized access. In case of Excel, we use the concept of uh, password. We can, how uh, we use different Excel features in the daily life to introduce these things. And also internet technology, where we have a various other internet technology lights, LAN, WAN, MAN, how we install these things in the uh, particular area and how we introduce uh, in our daily life. Done, Bacha? Thank you so much. Now over to Madhvi, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Urushi, ma'am. So I would like to discuss about food, nutrition, and dietics. That is another skill subject that we are offering at Cambridge. So by opting food, nutrition, and dietics, what we can do is we can have so many, we do have uh, so many opportunities. We have diverse opportunities uh, to become nutritionist and food inspectors, as you can see, food analyst, which is very much required these days. Food inspectors that are the, uh, you know, the food inspectors, they go to certain areas, to certain uh, restaurants, and they take the samples over there and they do tell us that is the food that we're eating from that very place is good or not. You can open up your own diet clinic, become a dietitian. You can conduct the nutrition surveys. Public health nutritionists, you can become. You can also go for international uh, projects. The railway food quality officers, and also you can go in the teaching job. So after doing the uh, plus two with the subject, you can go for the BSc nutrition and dietics. And further, you can go with the MSc in nutrition and dietics. So BSc in Nutrition and Dietics is a three-year course and MSc in Nutrition and Dietics is a two-year course with a semester system. And to be eligible for BSc in Nutrition and Dietics, you need to opt for Physics, Chemistry and Biology as the compulsory subject. Then, if you don't want to go for the BSc's and the Master's, you can go for one-year diploma courses. Diploma courses in Nutrition and Health Education Diploma in Dietics, Diploma in Nutrition and Dietics, Diploma in Food Science and Nutrition. Food Science and Nutrition, Diploma in Dietics and Clinical Nutrition, Diploma in Nutrition and Food Technology. Furthermore, where you can set yourself, where you can bring your settings, you can go to schools, you can work in hospitals. You can have a long-term care facilities. Food manufacturing industries are also hiring the dietitians. Public health organization, government agencies, non-profit organization and NGOs, you can volunteer yourself. Holistic healing centers, for example, rehabilitation centers we have. We need dietitians there as well. In the slimming centers and in the alternative medicinal clinics. So there also... The dietitians are very much required. And all you know is everybody is, these days are looking for a good diet therapy. They want to get fit without the pills, but with the food. So there you can open your own personal practice. You can guide people. You can use various social media platforms like Instagram, like Facebook, and you can get followers from there. You can give the diets from there and you can earn so much money. You can also run your YouTube channels and you can earn money from there as well. If, if you have the knowledge, then we offer government jobs are also offered to the students who opt for clinical nutrition and dietics. Government jobs 
are offered in Basel, that is Broadcast Engineering Consultant India Limited. So you see this salary, the starting salary is 35,000 and they require the students who have done the master degree in food nutrition and dietetics or BS in home science. Then SSC also conducts the exams which require the general dietitians and the salary is again, it starts from 35,000 and it goes up to one lakh. Then we have CRPF. They also, CRPF, Central Reserve Police Force. They also need dietitians these days as an inspector to see that the messes, the, the mess that they are running in different, different places, are they fully uh, hygienic and the proper diet therapy has been followed there or not? Then is then that is National Council of Medical Research. So here also we need the uh, dietitians with the salary that is below 30,000 and that is a fixed salary throughout the year. Railways also, they require dietitian. The salary you can see is 44,900 uh, and that is the initial salary. Later on, the salaries will be increased. So you see, there are many places where the salaries are really good and the job opportunities are many. Other jobs, you can go for the hospitals. Your, uh, the hospitals, they are uh, the various hospitals where you can go and give the therapeutic diets, that is diet according to the diseases. And sports and health clubs teaching, research and development, you can go there. Mass media, if you are very good at speaking, you can always go for uh, go for the RJs and become a VJ, you know, and also you can write a column. Gyms, slimming centers, they also require private practitioners, private doctors for them, uh, private dietitians for them. But before we end with this, I would like to show you the video. And in this video, we'll be seeing how, how in India, these dietitians have become the, become the entrepreneurs and how they are earning and how they have qualified themselves in various diverse areas. So let's continue with this, just, just a small video. <laughs>
you all can see how these people have worked really hard in their careers and they have taken this nutrition as to the next level and you can also become an entrepreneur you can open up your restaurants and you can give the diet according to the uh, according to the needs of the people according to the diseases and you can heal you can heal people you can help the other people heal themselves and that is all thank you very much over to rupinder ma'am Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I take up this golden opportunity to thank ma'am for always living up to the ethos of uh, Cambridge International School. And it is due to this that today she organized such a session for your benefit children. And I'm so thankful to Mr. Dinesh Kumar, the coordinator for grades 11 and 12, and his team of PGTs for such an extremely informative session, which I am sure has left no doubts in your minds. On behalf of the entire team, I promise that if you still have even a shred of doubt about anything, all you need to do is approach the NASA and I can assure you that you will step out of his office as a satisfied and a contented person. A very special thanks to Mr. Sahas for being such a patient host and for handling all controls so efficiently. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, I thank you all for being a lovely participants at the webinar. And uh, the forum, I believe, now is open for question answers if you have any. After this question and answer session, when we wind up, we will be sharing a Google form in the class WhatsApp groups. And um, I'm sure you must have made up your mind or you will soon make up your mind, but try to submit these forms as soon as possible. Okay, so now uh, we are open to the question and answer part of the webinar. Am I right, Sahas, sir? Yes, ma'am. Yes, the students can raise their hand. Just raise your hand. Sir will unmute you and you can ask the question. And the mentors present out here would satisfy you. Thank you. Yes, Muskan. Yes, Muskan wants to ask, ask something. Sir, can we opt BBA after choosing commerce? Uh, uh, Baljeet, ma'am. Yes, Muskan, definitely, Vacha. Once you do bachelor's in business administration, MBA is a step ahead. You do master's there. BBA is the bachelor's degree. So after commerce, you go for BBA, and then you can go for master's if you want to go ahead. Okay, you can definitely go after commerce. And ma'am, can we opt psychology as an optional subject in commerce? But in commerce, still we do not have that combination. Because as per commerce timetable, there will be a clash. Simultaneously, that period will be taken in humanities by psychology teacher. And we'll have some other core subject in commerces. So you can have that, but you'll have to do it on your own then. For further details, you can talk to Dinesh Savita. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Welcome. Yes, anyone else, student? Yes, Akshita. Mm, sir, in humanities, if I want to pursue com uh, computer application, what are the subject combinations? What do you see, ma'am? Okay, thank you, Saha, sir. But uh, of course, you can opt for computer applications and you need to choose three more subjects. This would be your optional subject. And from the core subjects, as I have told you, we have, we have five core subjects, history, geography, economics, psychology, and political science. You need to choose three of them. And one would be English, another would be your computer application. So definitely you can go for that. Thank you, Vita. Thank you. 
थैंक यू सर यस विधि मैम सो आई एम नॉट गुड इन मैथ्स कैन आई अप फॉर साइंस स्ट्रीम यस ऑफ कोर्स बेटा दिनेश सर इज हियर दिनेश सर विल हैंडल दिस क्वेश्चन यस दिनेश सर ओवर टू यू यस बेटा कैन यू रिपीट योर क्वेश्चन she said she is not good in mathematics uh, so she can uh, can she opt sciences or not uh, i can suggest that uh, if you are not good in mathematics uh, only your physics part is 50% uh, mathematic calculation so definitely you will get some problem in physics also but if you think that uh, you are ready to hard work definitely you will succeed no problem but somewhere i feel you need to remember rhythma that uh, sciences uh, the core of sciences maths in most of the cases except for bio yeah. right so yes as the nisha said you'll have to work very hard on your mathematical skills as well any other child who wishes to ask a question yes rhythma <laughs> Um, can I have any other option except science? Uh, better. This is something you should come and uh, talk to the nurse. The school uh, we are there on all working days, right? So any time after twelve um, thirty, you can come and meet sir. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Anybody else? Once, once is there, ma'am. <coughs> yes. uh good morning ma'am actually i wanted to ask that uh, is additional subject compulsory in commerce dinesh would you like to answer this yes, question uh, not at all beta it's not the compulsory to be additional subject uh core subject 3 one is english fourth and fifth optional subject you can adopt a optional subject out of 6 to 7 combinations it's not compulsory to take additional subject no okay sir thank you you should have five subjects in all the sixth one is called the additional and that's your choice all right ma'am thank you yes hardak good afternoon to all sir i wanted to ask you that uh, if i want to opt for data science then what is the best uh, stream to choose for for data sciences data sciences for data sciences you should opt non medical i think yeah you have to opt non medical for data sciences but data sciences can be studied in biology too madhvi ma'am yes sir in data sciences you can go in the forensics there we maintain the data and also uh, the biotechnology uh, we see that there's a field of biotechnology in that also we have the data and the data sciences has been generated there also so in from the biotechnology you can go to the forensics also and you can also go in the research work i think bioinformatics is also a new branch which has come up bioinformatics, bioinformatics yes bioinformatics and biotechnology and the forensics these three are the working with the big data sciences yes sir do you want to ask something else Sir, for that we can uh, opt for PC and physics, chemistry, and mathematics. Or... You can opt for medical or you can opt non-medical. Whichever subject you want to opt in data sciences. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Hardaksh, it depends on the further choices that you're going to make. Whether you want to do like what further in data sciences you want to go with, so you pick up the subjects accordingly. Whether you want to have bio or not, that depends on your further choice. Okay. Am I right, Sahas sir? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Once uh, wants to ask something else, also. Once, do you want to ask something else? Once, you have you have raised your hand. Probably he forgot to lower it. Any other student? Yes, sir. Uh, so I wanted to ask that is there any option for opting uh, for economics along with PCM? 
economics as an additional subject you need additional subject but the problem will be uh, how to manage that subject actually uh, because in parallel commerce and uh, uh, arts uh, there is a common subject uh, economics so some somehow we got problem in uh, fixation of timetable actually if you can do at your own level you are most welcome okay sir thank you sir and avneet also when you choose an additional subject like that that is that does not belong to that particular stream just make sure that if you're doing that combination you know it's a fruitful combination probably you have a plan b in your mind when you're doing going for economics so you should be very clear about what that plan is so that uh, you know the extra effort that you're putting in with the main subject is actually fruitful there's no point in doing a subject because you like it for two year, two years and then dropping out of that subject at the graduation level right two more good hands morning. good morning everyone uh, i wanted to ask that uh, there have been uh, some rumors circulating that uh, from the time that we we'll start our 11th um the stream system wouldn't be there anymore it would be like only we can choose subjects so is that actually happening may i answer this yes 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 ma'am yes ma'am uh, sanvi uh, basically uh, beta it is not this that there's no fixed stream as such right the nep you you probably referring to the nep there's no fixed stream but then at the same time you would like to make combinations which are fruitful right these streams were fruitful combination if you want to beat the stream go elsewhere yes of course the school is always there to support you with certain constraints like if you're going off beat then you would get some classes say after 12:40 right and uh, you'll have to stay in stay uh, longer at school for them right thank you that one that one wants to ask good morning Bad everyone one. sir if one has to choose a uh, ca as a career then he or she should take uh, applied maths or standard maths Vishali ma'am, I think Vishali ma'am is there. Ah, uh, applied. Ah, uh, if you feel that standard math is difficult, no, no problem. Ah, uh, uh, applied math can be taken. Thank you, sir. Anybody else who wishes to ask a question? Yes. Or no. Uh, good morning to all. Uh, actually, I want to choose commerce as my stream. Uh, so it is necessary for me to uh, it it is is it necessary for me to take standard maths or applied maths baljit ma'am thank you sir um, yes good morning anna anna bachcha it's not compulsory if you are not comfortable with math that's fine four core subjects english accounts business economics then fifth subject you can choose any if you want to have some light subject you can go for painting dance music If you want some technical, you can go to skill subject, financial markets or food nutrition. You can opt any from there also. So you can skip maths part. <laughs> Come on, you are not interested in it. Otherwise, ma'am, four subjects are compulsory. Four are compulsory. Okay, thanks, ma'am. Welcome. Five, five. You have to do five subjects in all. Four from core and one from option. Yes. Yes, ma'am is correct there. Okay. And additional, if you wish to, if you want to have six, then you can have at the max six subjects. But five are definitely to be taken. Anybody else who wishes to ask any query? Since no hands are raised, so I take it that all doubts are cleared. Thank you so much, Dinesh. Once again, Sahas, a, a you, big thanks to you for being the admin and uh, you know controlling, shifting. Uh, unmuting us whenever the hands were raised or unmuting us for the requirement uh, it's a great very very responsible thing to do and uh, thank you to ma'am for allowing us this webinar and children thank you so much for all to all of you for being present and in for this 
highly informative session. I'm very sure it was very informative. If you still have doubts, come to the NASA, come to the teacher concerned, like, you know, uh, Baljeet ma'am was there, Seema ma'am was there, Madhavi ma'am was there, Meenu ma'am was there, Urvashi ma'am was there, or any other teacher you feel you are comfortable with, come and discuss things with them, you will certainly have an answer to your queries. Okay, all the best to all of you. The Google form would soon be shared and I'm very sure uh, we would get the submissions by Monday, I think. That's how I go, that people will decide and they'll put the submissions on, right? So thank you so much once again. And uh, Dinesh, do you wish to say anything? And thanks a lot, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Sahas, you can end the meeting. Okay, Children, you can leave. Thank you.